So the new Gears of War 4 Rise of the Horde update brings with it 15 new Horde skills, 3 for each Horde class. But what are they good for? Keep watching and find out. <laughs> Hey guys, it's Chris with Blind Man's Bluff Gaming. Welcome back and I hope you're doing awesome. If you're new to the channel, are you looking for Gears of War 4 Horde Tips and Tricks videos? Then go ahead and hit that subscribe button and tap that bell notification so you don't miss anything. Now before we get started, let me take a second just to thank everyone that's been taking the time just to hit that like button. And if you really like a video, hitting that share button. It definitely helps me out and I appreciate you guys. Alright, let's get started here. Build number one. Now, as of this video, the update isn't out yet, so this is speculation on my part. It's just to give us an idea of what these skills are going to be good for. So let's start with the engineer. Now let's start out with Engineer. The first build is for Inconceivable or Insane or whatever difficulty where you're just taking tons of damage. The first skill is going to be the new skill Flow, which allows you to take less damage while repairing fortifications. I think this is going to be important, especially on Inconceivable. I mean, if you ever played Engineer and you just got one-shotted by, you know, by a sniper across the map, it's definitely going to hurt. Skill number two, repair boost. Skill number three, turret discount. Skill number four, sentry discount. And the fifth skill is going to be the new skill, overclock, which increases the rate with which weapon lockers replenish ammo. I think this is actually going to be a skill that a lot of people are going to be running, and a lot of teammates are going to want you to run. Engineer build number two. Now this would be my general build, what I'd run or running in public or something else where I don't really know my teammates. The first skill is going to be the new skill overclock. Again, it increases the rate with which weapon lockers replenish ammo. And again, I think this is going to be really important since, you know, Horde is going to be kind of turning away from turrets and more towards weapon lockers. Skill number two, repair boost. Skill number three, turret cost. Skill number four, sentry discount. Skill number five, sentry capacity. Now sentry capacity is one of my favorites to run as an engineer because it just makes a so much difference. Your sentries will shoot through the entire wave, plus you'll be able to, you know, refill them without them being completely empty. Build number three, the ammo generator. Skill number one is the new skill salvage. Enemies killed by your sentries have a chance to drop ammo magazines. Now this, again, is pure speculation. I don't know how much ammo we're going to go through because of not having as many turrets, but this might be very helpful. Skill number two is the new skill overclock. Skill number three, repair boost. Skill number four, turret cost. Skill number five, sentry discount. Builds for the heavy class. Build number one, turret build. Here's where the new skill thick skin, where I'm going to put it on. It says, thick skin allows you to take reduced damage from explosions. Now, if you've ever used a turret, which if you played Horde, you have, you know how the boom shots and the random drop shot comes in and just decapitates you or, or whatever else. I think thick skin will definitely alleviate that and also allow us to survive some salvos and, and so forth. Skill number two, turret damage. Skill number three, mark damage. Skill number four, heavy weapon damage. Skill number five, explosive launcher damage. Now the last two, obviously you can choose whatever you prefer. I just put those on there just to make you well-rounded so you are able to use your boom shot or drop shot or heavy weapon, whatever you like. Heavy build number two, the salvo build. Now this is for just using the salvo heavy weapon. Now your first skill is going to be the new skill, Berserker. It says, Berserker, while carrying a heavy weapon, you deal more damage as your health gets lower. Skill number two is going to also be a new skill called Last Stand. While carrying a heavy weapon, you take less damage as your health gets lower. Skill number three is Explosive Damage. Skill number four is Explosive Launcher Capacity, which also affects your salvo. Skill number three is going to be heavy weapon damage. 
Heavy class build number three, the heavy weapon. Skill number one is going to be the new skill again, Berserker. While carrying a heavy weapon, you deal more damage as your health gets lower. Skill number two is going to be the new skill, Last Stand. While carrying a heavy weapon, you take less damage as your health gets lower. Skill number three is also going to be a new skill called Thick Skin. Again, you take reduced explosive weapon damage. Skill number four, heavy weapon damage. Skill number five, mark damage. Gears of War 4, Rise of the Horde, Scout Builds. Build number one, the Slayer. Here I'm going to put the new skill, Speed Loader. While roadie running, you will automatically reload your equipped weapon with active reload rounds. Skill number two, shotgun damage. Skill number three, health regen. Skill number four, health boost. And skill number five, deposit bonus. Scout build number two, the spawn blocker. Here I'm going to put the new scout skill called cloak. Being stationary and in cover for seconds will cloak you from enemies. Leaving cover or shooting will remove the cloak. Shoot enemies from cloak for a small damage boost. Skill number two, deposit bonus. Skill number three, shotgun damage. Skill number four, health boost. Skill number five, health regeneration. And what I mean by spawn blocker is, a lot of times in a map, you can find out where the horde is spawning and you can actually block that spawn, like doing a speed run, and make them spawn in different spawns and basically control the way the horde is coming at your base. With cloak, this will allow you at the beginning, you know, before the wave starts to actually just take cover in a spawn and force the horde to spawn in a different spot. Also allowing you to come up behind them and shoot them in the back, which, you know, is always fun. <laughs> is always fun. Um, which is weird if you ever notice sometimes like the horde will get locked onto something and they'll walk right past you. And I think having cloak is another way that is going to allow you to take advantage of that. Scout build number two for grabbing power for on inconceivable or insane or whatever else. So here you're not using a shotgun or you're not doing a lot of slaying. Your job is to get the power. And this is also for, especially for like speed runs and stuff where you're just grabbing power as fast as possible. Now here I'm going to put the new skill again called dodge. Dodge says it takes reduced damage while doing roadie running. Skill number two, deposit bonus. Skill number three, pickup radius. Skill number four, health boost. Skill number five, health regeneration. Now normally people run either speed or energize, which both of which energize I'm not a big fan of because it, it seems like it's really inconsistent. Also speed is, you know, kind of overkill, but you know, it's up to you. Anyways, I think dodge will definitely help because it's it's a consistent damage resistance So when you're just running in there grabbing power All you need to do is just keep wall bouncing or bouncing around and you're gonna keep that buff on Gears of War 4 rise of the horde sniper builds Build number one the slayer here. I'm gonna put the new skill steady hand. It says you take less damage and have less camera shake when being attacked while aiming or scoping. So you not only have less camera shake, but you're gonna take less damage. This is pretty awesome and it's, it's a game changer for the sniper. Skill number two is another new skill called Magic Bullet. It says critical hits with precision rifles, long shot, marks of M-Bar, will penetrate through enemies and increase the damage of the next shot. Skill number three is headshot damage. Skill number four, precision rifle damage. Skill number five, precision rifle capacity. Now this build is all about you and the gun. Sniper build number two, the spotter. Here I'm gonna put the new horde skill called shot. It says called shot targets you mark take damage from all sources, which means teammates, sentries, strikes, etc. when they're marked. Skill number two, mark boost. Skill number three, radar ring. Skill number four, precision rifle damage. Skill number five, headshot damage. Now, I have no idea how effective this is gonna be, but I think this could be a way for radar ring and mark boost to actually be very effective. Think about it this way. You, 
the boss wave starts, you call in a radar ring, everything's marked, and then you drop a mortar strike or something like that, and he's over. Gears of War 4, Rise of the Horde, Soldier Builds. Build number one for general use. Here I'm going to put the new Horde skill, Siphon. It says Siphon, planting grenade kills cause enemies to drop more power. Skill number two, grenade damage. Skill number three, assault rifle damage. Skill number four, active reload boost. Skill number five, hammer of dawn strike. Now I feel like Siphon is going to be a must use uh, skill from now on for the soldier just because it generates more power which is the bottom line in Horde getting as much power as possible. Soldier build number two, the assault rifle slayer. Here we're going to put the new soldier perk, Assault Rifle Accuracy. It says that assault rifles become more accurate the longer they're fired from cover. Skill number two, Assault Rifle Magazine Size. Now this is going to stack together with the accuracy because the bigger magazine allows you to shoot longer. Skill number three, Assault Rifle Damage. Skill number four, Assault Rifle Active Reload Boost. Skill number five, Assault Rifle Capacity, which actually is a must because you'd be surprised how many rounds you burn through <laughs> using Assault Rifle. Soldier build number three, the Grenade Plant build for generating power. Here we're going to put the new perk Siphon. Siphon says planted grenade kills cause enemies to drop more power. Skill number two is the new skill Resupply. Resupply regenerates one grenade every X seconds up to your starting loadout number. So if you, you don't have any perks on, you're going to have two grenades. And if you have grenade capacity on, it's going to be whatever your grenade capacity skills at. So anyways, skill number three is going to be grenade damage. Skill number four is going to be grenade capacity. And skill number five is going to be grenade plant. Or replace it with hammer of dawn strike if you're doing... If you are looking for more Horde Tips and Tricks videos, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Until next time guys, this is Chris, have an awesome one.